Hello again, this is the Water Man. Um, this is a spiritual toolbox short part two of the true worshipers in John chapter 4, verse 23, versus uh, the uh, serpent nature, worshiping your own serpent nature, your own carnal mind, huh? in, in uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Okay, I have it pre recorded, so here it goes. Hello again, this is the water man. This is a spiritual toolbox sewer. And it's um, going from, it's showing a dichotomy between uh, true worshipers, and like in John chapter 4, verse 23, and uh, like the sneaky snake nature of our own humanistic thinking, of our own carnal mind. It's actively hostile against you going back into God. Okay? And we're looking down in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Okay, just on that first word that they translate is now the serpent. Okay? Let me start out by reading that verse. Well, <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to read both verses. Let's go to John chapter 4, verse 23. This is going to show on the true worshipers. Okay, this is green lighting God, okay? But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay? Now, let's go back and show this in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Okay, now we're just going to touch on now the serpent. And that's this, this dichotomy is two directly opposing ways of thinking. You think with your own serpent nature, your own Adamic nature, your own carnal mind, your own poop thinking, your filthy mistress stinking rags, the heart of man is desperately evil, wicked and evil above all things, this hissing serpent, okay, ew, yuck, that's all the same stuff, the apostle Paul counts it all as done for winning Christ, okay, before when they, before they went through the name change, he was Saul, he was like a cheat chief top dog of the Pharisees. You're polishing outsider cut, man. He killed them. He was killing them. The chases to hunt them down. And killing the ones that was worshiping Jesus. Huh? Then he was knocked off his, off his, knocked on his ass. <laughs> knocked off his donkey. Huh? All the donkey thinking and it came from a Saul to a Paul. It's small in that old nature, okay? He said, Paul, Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 3, is it Philippians 3, 8, I think it is, where I count all things as done for me in Christ. I mean, that's the gist of it. It's all poop. All right? All this stuff, I felt the best for sticking around, all this, the good, the bad, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, all that stuff. A Pharisee. In order to qualify to become a Pharisee, they had to like quote, be able to quote verbatim the first five books of the Bible in that original language. So I mean, he had no slouncher, right? All right, now <clears throat> we can't all poop. It's just serpent nature, this diabolos, and satanus, it's the same thing. He's a false accuser. It's like a hissing snake, okay? Inside you, in your mind, don't think out here in this outer court and holy place stuff. Outside, it's all external. No, Jesus told him in, uh, see, I think it was Luke 17, 20, 21, where he's talking to those Pharisees. Those religious separatists that were bitter enemies of Jesus Christ. They polished outside the can't believe all that inside them. Well, you gotta go inside where God's working. Huh? God's taking you and 
looking at that inside your mind. He's working to vindicate it, render you innocent, prove to you to you that you're innocent of this stuff. Bring you out of this poop thinking. Build a relationship builder back in himself. And he's going from this in your mind to deep. Not this outside stuff. See, like I said, the kingdom of God does not come with outward observation. Saying, look here, over there, over here, over here, up there, there, on the sideways, do a somersault. All this stuff. Get up there and do war, spiritual warfare. No, 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 none of that crap. Huh? And I mean it's crap. It's all things that's dumb. I didn't tell you to do that stuff. Get out of here. Spew it out of your mouth. Just like Father God, spew that stuff. That lukewarm and cold stuff. Look at it. Be hot in pursuit of God. Come inside where God's working so you can rightly divide or accurately handle that truth. Spirit of God. What he's doing. Yes, sir, Daddy God. I love you. You're my exceeding great reward. All that other stuff's a liar and the truth's not in it. I don't want that serpent nature. Get out of here. Huh? You lollipop giver? Easy peasy bunch of bull crap? It's not right. Huh? That imposter of light. St. Thomas, that's your own car mine. Another tactic. Diabolos, hissing snake, false accuser, serpent nature. <clears throat> okay, now, let's <clears throat> get back in this. Now the serpent. The word that they translate is now the serpent. Hang on just a minute. Hopefully, yeah. Thought it kicked me off the internet there, because I will have it pronounced again. Had it done it before. I had it done on the last one, I'll do it again. <coughs> it's for 5175. They translate that as now the serpent. N-A-H-A-S. Okay, it's this word right here. Strong's H 5175. Not hush. Not hush. Okay. Not hush. See, God's working inside your mind. The deep. He's looking all the way down on each thought process. Down to zooming in to one thought process. The deeper. And he's blowing that up and zooming all the way down to one little spot. And asking you, shall I cry chop this stuff out? Hiya? Shall I skim it off? This stuff that I'm blowing up there with all these storms of your life? I'm bringing you, giving you an opportunity. See, it's for you. It's not to you. If you're thinking to you, you're out here looking in this lolly gag land. Out here focusing on it's all. The kingdom of God comes with outward observation. Low here, low there. It's all this stuff. The world's going to hell in the handbasket. Blah, blah, blah. Out there fighting the winds and waves. Instead of in your ship, inside your mind, sleeping, resting, relying on God, taking a nap. Actively working. So you're slowing down from this flying to running to walking. You're coming back to EM and that's why in God you're setting your sights. Huh? To rest in the relying God and coming in union with God, just like Jesus taking a, a nap in the belly of that ship, in your humanistic thinking. Okay? In the deep, your whole mind, your universal mind, to the deeper down to that single thought process to the deepest. Right down, all the way down in there where God said, shall I skim out this little bit of dark black stuff that I'm revealing to you, that I'm exposing in you, that you're helpless to do anything about. Because that when it says it's like they were naked in the garden back here in Genesis, they were helpless. Helpless to do anything about it. They wanted to put all this Furs and stuff on cover them. Well, they just wanting a covering that wasn't God. Their beast nature to cover them instead of God to cover them. God is the help. God is your aid. God's the one redeeming you. The God is the one that's vindicating you. That's the word they mistranslated. It's vengeance is why I'm saying the Lord. No, it's vindicating. He's working to prove to you the truth. Huh? He's bringing you all this poop thinking. Just green like him. He doesn't need your help. Hmm? You need his help. Come on, man. Get your mind right. 
a green light god. This red light is serpent nature. But they translate here. <laughs> Keep on focus here. Your little drink. <clears throat> translate is now the serpent. Okay. 5175. Nahash. Now. Hang on a minute. There we go. Moving slow, but it's moving. Okay. That internet thing. Now. That word, that's a sna that hissing snake, and I went through what hissing, what it's trying to do is trying to drive you away from and down the drain, down the toilet bowl, down its own pooper thinking, down your pooper thinking, not some devil in a monster out here, some snake out there on the ground, no, huh, what's in your mind, God's working in there, don't stand this out of court holy place, things which were combined into one, in the new testament, new covenant. An old covenant is our core holy place and holy of holies. Uh-huh. God's going inside now and working. Huh? To baptize you, totally immerse you in his spirit and in fire. Huh? It's purification. P Y R is spelled P Y R and pronounced P O O R poor. Huh? He's doing it to purify you. To bring you out of that poop thinking. Gotta go through a little pressure to get out of that stuff. But there's a way, the truth, and the life to come out of it. Yahweh, the salvation, Jesus, right? Huh? Not your own way, but Yahweh's, God's way. Okay? Now, in this word, Nahash, okay? The word that's turned, now the serpent, okay? In the etymology of that word, it comes from 5172. Okay. Now, 5172 is N A H A S, this word. Psalms 8, 5172. Nahash. 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 Okay. Now, the first word that is spelled the same way in 5175 is a masculine noun. Now, this one is the verb, Nahash. Okay. And it's down to the primitive root. So we're chasing down to the root. Of this serpent nature that's describing right here. Hmm? And there's a whole, whole lot in that verse. Uh, I'm not going to make it. It'd be, a, I don't know how many recordings just to cover that one verse. Okay? But I'm going to do what I can here and I'm going to try to stay focused in John chapter 4. Okay? Alright, now here we go. This is a primitive word. Primitive word. This is the verb. Okay, the primitive root, okay? Alright, let's see here. Uh, hold my notes. Uh, okay, on the online biblical usage, first, and that's the harsh, the verb, okay? Uh, that God is vindicating or freeing one from the bondage of, the, of their own poop thinking. Hmm. Alright, that's what God's doing. Well, that's green lighting, God. You green light him, you agree with it. Spit that stuff out, vomit it out, right? Now, <clears throat> in this dahash, is to diligently, let's see, diligent, diligently learn by experience. Okay? And there's a dichotomy in that. You're experiencing either going, dang, drug pooper. See, you're falling down the stairs. Oh, eat. Huh? Getting impaled by stakes and stuff. Agreeing with your own good and evil stuff. Huh? You're getting all whooped up and beat up. Nothing lasts. Huh? Your good, evil, bad stuff, it's all crap and ugly. Do yuck. This shit stucks. This shit. Stinks. It's seen here. Takes that to smell with my own ego in it. It's a crapper, man. Take me down the toilet bowl. You learn that by experience. Turn from that and go to God. And you learn that by experience. Oh my goodness, Father God. My children hear my voice and the voice of another they will not listen to. That crap thinking. Oh man, through experience, I give up on that crap. That's bullshit. It ain't worth nothing. Worthless and detestable. I count it all as dying for winning Christ. 
you look at uh, John 10, 1 through 10, and uh, Philippians 3, 8. Good stuff here, okay? All right. Now, they want to look by the signs and wonders and all this bullcrap, okay? It ain't real. Okay? Now, in the Strong's definition of this uh, Nahas, okay? I'm going to try to line her up here. It says to hiss. Remember what we, what, what, I defined that hiss. Back to another one, a hissing, um, usually, uh, made in disapproval, it's, uh, to express contempt or disapproval. You're not agreeing with Nebuchadnezzar. We're going to throw you in a dang old fiery furnace. Remember that Nebuchadnezzar is a black representative of young calm mind, of your own serpent nature, doing it. Room, me, myself, and what? That thing's got to decrease. And God must increase, right? Alright. Uh, hissing serpent nature is uh, usually followed by a downward. Not going up to God's way, up to his higher superior way. He wants to make that seed of Christ uh, seem insignificant and let you go down, grow crapper, pop. Come on, get this dinner here. Big old hot dog, a big plate full of crap. Of your own crap thinking. It's a bunch of malarkey. Don't believe a thing. Let God be true. Right? Now. <clears throat> Whew. So that hiss. Now, it's also in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. It's verb Nahash. Okay? It's in the etymology of the masculine one, Nahash. Okay? Now, it's, um. Whisper a magic spell. Is that kind of like a hoo oh, doo ditty? Yeah, do 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 this, do 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 Like the Chebusite. Like those ites and that chief, that that top dog of the ones, those imagination, those old uh, ite nations from Deuteronomy 7 1 that are greater and mightier than you. God's vindicating you of them. Pulling you out of that poop thinking. God's the only one that can do that. If you agree like him, hot pursuit emphatically. Turn from that crap. Don't eat that crap. Come back to me. Become a widow to that stuff. Let it die. Let that first Adam, that serpent nature, that carnal mind, that diabolos, satanist, all this bullshit, die. This outer court and holy place stuff. Ooh, yo, get out of here, man. I don't have to get out there and try to do another spiritual warfare. God is big enough. He, he, he's the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, sovereign king. He's the rightful king, not you, you old Nebuchadnezzar, you old carnal dog. You're not the alpha dog. You're, you're just an alpha dog. You're a beast nature. Shut up. All right? I said, if you're the red way. I don't want that. All right? Quit whispering magic. Spells and stuff trying to do the blue doo ditty. If I just worship this Diablos or Satanus in me, huh? My own righteousness, my own serpent nature, not something out here, imaginary fictitious stuff, huh? God's losing control because of something, blah blah blah. No, no, no. You're denying that God is your exceeding great reward. You're denying. It's actively hostile and opposed. What's that telling you? That's that carnal mind. That's a serpent nature. That's that bullcrap thinking. Ooh, yuck. Spew it out of your mouth. Okay? Identify it. God's exposing it in those storms of your life. So that you don't become a grouchy man. Because <laughs> I'm eating bullcrap. Well, quit eating that stuff, son. Father? <laughs> Right? Now, now so it's just, it's, uh, it's, in this verb, Nahash, uh, one of the translated is, uh, that snake. Okay? To hiss, to whisper magic spells, to prognosticate. Hmm. Huh? To forecast something future from present signs, outward 
things. They make you look like, man, that thing here, they like, said, man, I can't do it because it's making me do it. And they try to get out this, huh? All kinds of stuff. Checking you, it's a Jacob nature. Trickster, used car salesman, heel grabber is trying to trick you up in your way of thinking. So you can't go back to God. It's like that cherubim placed by the east side of the Garden of Eden later on down in this same chapter, Genesis 3. Huh? Placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden. On that speaking of confusion. It's trying to keep you confused to keep you from going back to the mind of Christ. Eating from the tree of life and living. Come to the fullness of life in God. He wants you to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Here, eat this stuff. Uh, no, don't eat that poop thinking. Right? Now, <clears throat> so don't, don't, don't base it on all the signs and wonders. See, an evil and perverse generation or age, you're buying into this worldly thinking. Huh? Seeks for a sign, but there's none will be given except the sign of Jonah, the prophet. Why well, have him? He's down in, his, in that ship. Right in that storm, just like we're in storms in our mind. Our humanistic thing, huh? They wasn't re he wasn't resting, relying on God, being obedient to God, was he? He wasn't doing like Jesus, huh? That was asleep, resting and relying, coming back, focusing. He and that's why in God, he wasn't being a true worshiper. He was in his own, me, myself, and I world, hiding out. Thinking he was, he was oh, I'm hiding from God. What they did, they come down there and got him, took him up, and basically blamed him for all this stuff. Kicked his butt out into the sea. He took the blame. And then, you know, but the long story short, he was thrown out into that, that storm. Into his own humanistic thinking. And all this stuff going on, and this big fish <coughs> come up and swallowed him. Uh, took him down in there, oh my goodness, to correct him. Speaking of, if you keep denying, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. 1, 2, to 4, to 8, 16, you're going to go the opposite way. It's coming on up to God. You're green like God, and he gets the increase. It goes 1, 2, to 4, to 8, 16, because that spark plug going off. The, 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 the seed of Christ is <laughs> gap filler, right? I don't explain that on other videos. You can go back and look at it, okay? Now, you say you're going up to God's spirit way, thinking God's love. You're going down, down, down the drain, down the pooper, down in that, like Jonah, swallowed in that, by that big fish. It'll take you through the bottom, to that ocean, to that sea, of your own cold mind, huh? Stinking thinking, and it'll eat you up. He said, I was in hell forever. Well, it wasn't forever, but it sure feels like when you're in a turmoil and stuff, and you're going down your own pooper. Oh, man. Getting worse and worse and worse. Huh? There's reeds from your own reed sea, like your seaweed and stuff wrapping around his neck and stuff choking him. Huh? They went through some crap. But it's, it's, it's pretty talking about correction. God will turn up uh, his argument, his, given his case. His explanation and his intensity to get what he's desiring. Huh? If you're called, you might as well give her up. <laughs> Don't keep fight doing it until you get so high hard and calloused and you can't do it. It's like uh, an old wine skin. You can't take the new wine. You can't take the God is your exceeding great reward and God loves you beyond words. You're done too, got too hard calloused in that burst of wine. You put new wine in the old wine skins, what happens? <laughs> burst both and you lose both. Okay? Now. <clears throat> whew. Uh. Yeah. That, it's just. Another of this prognosticate. To prognosticate is to forecast something about future or present signs, wonders, external stuff. See, I just hear it. Here, watch one of them. 
the most stupid movies that's got some out there and they got some, you hear that? You hear this? Huh? And there ain't nothing there. Looks like wind blowing in the trees. Or, <laughs> hog fell fell. You hear that up here? Oh, oh. Scaring themselves, aren't they? I'm, I'm stupid. I mean, <laughs> I'm just being blunt. I'm being blunt, okay? Now, this hissing and whispering, magic spells, or prognosticating future events based upon one's own righteousness, or tree of knowledge of good and evil, that's the wrong tree, it's not the tree of life, their own poop thinking, uh, will lead one astray, will drive one. Uh, from going back into God, God's righteousness, will drive them downward and away from God, down their own poop thinking, down their own righteousness. Quit that stuff. And you're thinking, man, I'm really working hard, it's really good hard. I mean, it's, you know, it's not by might, nor by power, not by your own might or power, but it's by God's spirit. Zechariah 4, 6. You can't do it by your efforts, it's not your works, at least any man boast. Come on, man. Alright. Now, that's driving you away from coming up higher to God's spirit way of thinking. His love beyond the mere description of words. Huh? To God's righteousness. You're going to your own righteousness by doing this stuff. By listening to that hissing pssst, a snake. Now, can you see the dichotomy in this thing? Don't believe that serpent nature. One's own carnal mind. Huh? One's own hissing snake in your mind saying you're a bad guy or here's a good lollipop right here. Good and evil. Uh uh. That's bullshit. Worthless and detestable. Don't eat that stuff. Don't partake in it. That's not from a tree of life. No matter how much it says, man, this is a good thing right here. Mm-hmm. That's in your, that's your own self. You're me, myself, and I. You're allowing your own thinking to be God. So not him, the rightful king. And in John chapter 3, verse 30, it says, I must decrease. That's that ego. That tries to edge God out. You know, me, myself, and I must decrease. And God must increase. Come on, man. Agree like God. Don't disagree with God. Alright? Now, <clears throat> I got a little bit. I want to just read you a couple of verses. Okay, I'm not going to go deep, too deep into them. Let me see. I might even just tell you where it's at. One of them I need to do uh, uh, um, later on sometime. I don't know when. I'll probably do a spiritual toolbox on it, but I'm trying to stay focused in John chapter 4 right now, okay? Well, let's go to Romans 3, 4, okay? I'm just going to read a little bit. You can read, study, and show yourself approved, huh? Make sure you're doing it from this inside. The Holy of Holies, God's purifying you inside, vindicating you from that spook thinking, huh? Not stay up here, oh, but it's external outward observation. That's not where the kingdom of God is. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Romans chapter 3, verse 4. God forbid. Yeah, let's, let's go back with it. Let's go to Romans 3, 3, and then 3, 3, and 3, 4. Okay? Now, I wish we'll read that out of New King James. It, it goes a little easier. It flows a little easier. For what if some did not believe. Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? <coughs> Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, and every man that humanistic thinking, that's anthropos, a liar. Then he goes right on down and says, yeah, a bunch more in there, okay? Um, I'm not going to get right there yet. I'm going to hop on down in that you can read that for yourself because I'm getting close on time here. Okay? Well, if you get all the way down in that same chapter, Romans 3, verse, let's go 22. Well, we'll read 21 and 22. 
Okay. In the New King James, verse 21 of Romans 3 says, But now the righteousness of God, apart from the law, that's that law of Moses, doo-doo, don't go, poo-poo, okay? We're going to kill you, we're going to throw rocks at you like that woman caught in adultery. Huh? I didn't told you about that. We'll study that more later. Okay? Uh, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Verse 22, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ, Yahweh's salvation, Jesus, right? To all and on all who believe, for there is no difference. Now, uh, you go down in there and look, it's, there's a lot more there. I'll have to try to do more on that later. I was looking, at, oh my goodness, I'll probably have to do a series to cover that, but there's just too much stuff there for I, this little video, okay? Uh, now, now let's go to Mark. This is where does deception come from? Let's go to Mark 7, and we're just going to start reading. I don't know if I, I don't think I can get through it all. Just Mark 7, uh, verses 14 through 23. Okay? Deception comes from within, not from without. Not outside. Don't believe all that crap out there. Okay? Have a great day, and I'll continue later. Hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff.